Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at an easy way to sort columns in Power Query. So here I've got a wide set of data with a bunch of contacts in it, and we can scroll over and we can see that I've got an email address 2, and an email address 3, etc. And maybe what I want to do is sort these so that all the emails are together, all the names are together, etc. So what I might do is come over to my second email address. So just first find that. And to rearrange columns, what you can do is click on a column and drag it. And you can see that that's pretty slow and painful. And actually, I'm just going to move this over a little bit and then click and drag to make things a little bit faster. And so that's going to take a long time if you're doing this for all the columns. So here we go. Here's my email and let's just release that. And here we've got our two emails together now. Now another option for moving columns is maybe let's go to our first name here, first name two. We can right click on it and there's options to move. So we can move one to the left or one to the right or to the beginning or to the end of our data. So in this case, let's move to the beginning. And here's our first names together. And I still actually have to click and drag this over because I want them in order. And we can also go up to the transform tab and those options are here as well. So we can move left, right, beginning or end. Now let's just delete this step and let's see how we can do this a lot easier. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home tab and we're going to click on choose columns. And normally what that's going to do is allow us to select certain columns so we can select just our first names, maybe. And if we find our second first name and if I were to press OK, then that's going to remove all my other columns. And I'm just going to be left with first name one and first name two here. So that's not what we want to do. We're not going to select anything here. We're going to leave everything checked. And instead, what we're going to do is if we come up here, there's actually a sort button. So we can click on that and it's going to allow us to sort our data by name. Now we can see all our columns are listed alphabetically and we're going to keep everything checked still. And if we just press OK, then that's going to sort our columns for us alphabetically. Now, if we go over to the applied steps window, notice that it's added a remove other columns step. So that means if in the future we add columns to our data, then we're going to be removing those columns. So we're only keeping these columns that are currently here and any new columns that come into our data are going to be removed in this step because they're not referenced here in our formula. So here we can see the Power Query M code that's generated from what we just did. And we can see that it lists out all the columns in the order that they now appear. So I'm just going to expand this formula. It's quite a long list. So we don't want to be removing columns. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our first column. And if we right click and use those move options, let's just move this to the beginning and it's already in the beginning. So what it's just going to do is generate a reorder column step for us with all those column names listed how we want them. So they're alphabetically there inside table dot reorder columns function. And now that means that we can come back to our removed other column step. Let's just select that and we can delete it and delete that. And that way, again, if we add columns into our data in the future, they're not going to be removed. We're still going to be reordering our columns that are listed here. Those new columns won't be reordered, so we'll have to do something with those. 
but at least we're not going to be removing them from our query. So that's a quick and easy way to sort our columns alphabetically rather than clicking and dragging or using those move commands. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.